Hello, and welcome to episode three of the Pipe Dream Meme. I'm Julia Mohammed, And I'm Rebecca Ananda. And contrary to my Instagram feed, I actually work really freaking hard. And so do I. I work mornings, I work nights, I work weekends, and I even work on holidays. But so do a lot of other Canadians. According to Stats Canada, 28% of the Canadian labour force are shift workers. Nurses, police, fire and emergency services, retail, industry and manufacturing are all fields where employees work morning, noon and night. Sometimes, all three. 40% of shift workers work in hotels and restaurants, which is what we do when we're not busy bringing you enlightening and hilarious online videos. Of course. The restaurant industry is super fun, most of the time. But here's the harsh truth. Shift work seriously impacts your health. Shift workers are more likely to be obese than their 9 to 5 counterparts, are more likely to have sleep disorders, gastrointestinal issues, those are fun, stress and anxiety are higher, and you're also more prone to depression. Research has shown that shift workers drink more, they smoke more, and they have poorer diets than nine to fivers. And working evenings and nights makes it so hard to hang out with friends and family that aren't on the same schedule as you. Oh, sorry, I missed your whatever, because I was probably working. So how are us shift workers supposed to deal? The industry is not going to change. So either we buy a timeshare in Cubicle City, or we come up with a plan to keep this and this happy and healthy. No. Poor health and work-related stress are such big problems in the hospitality business that last year, a group of service industry veterans founded Rome, a collective which organizes events and workshops to help industry people cope. We founded Rome because of the lack of resources there that are um, for restaurant workers or sort of hospitality workers in general. Whereas when you work shift work, when you work hospitality and you're working these crazy hours, back of house working from like 11 a.m. to like midnight or one, front of house working crazy hours as well, um, then there's nothing available for you. It's not like there's yoga classes at midnight. It's not like there's, you know, a, a freshie on the corner that's available for you when you get off work at one in the morning. Well, I think my entire 20s were pretty much spent, like, in the work, drink, pass out, wake up, eat McDonald's, go back to work, sort of repeat, repeat, repeat lifestyle. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I mean, look and you begin to notice, like, you're just, you're irritable, you're emotionally just drained, um, your health suffers. I, I mean, almost everyone that I know who's worked in hospitality at some point or another, they can fully recognize that they're drinking too much, they're smoking too much, they're not exercising, they're eating horrible food. It looks pretty good. I mean, look how crisp that is. Um, you know, try grocery shopping for once, uh, batch cooking for yourself. So you actually have food when you go home at night. Like, that's a huge thing. You're not getting home until midnight. You're starving or one or two. Just make sure that you have something that you actually find appealing to eat. It looks pretty good, though, eh? Like the video quality? Uh, try, even though it's hard, try to limit your drinking or your smoking or anything like that. Try to give yourself at least a night off a week where you're just like, I'm going to go home and sleep. pretty regular amount of people going there every week um, uh, but honestly since summertime and I've moved out to Prince Edward County and like Rachel's taken on some new jobs as well and like we're all just working insane amount of hours and are pretty much a victim of our own 
sort of uh, objective is, uh, yeah, is that there's just no time to really work on this sort of stuff. So we're still trying to make everything happen. We're, I think we're all really looking forward to, um, at the very least, we'll still be putting on these yoga classes. We'll still be putting on some classes with um, various financial advisors, because I think that's really important, having financial health, working in the um, hospitality industry and in shift work. Um, uh, and slowly but surely adding more things to our roster, whether it's massage therapists or, you know, um, we're trying to get, like, dentists on board, just people who are willing to work with people who, who don't necessarily have the same time that everyone else does. So, yeah. As restaurant workers, we sell our guests a good time, a great night out, and we sell it to ourselves but we spend so much time making other people happy that we forget to make ourselves happy. If you feel like you are caught in a negative cycle of self-neglect, there are steps you can take today to help yourself take back control. Slow down, reach out, and accept that you are the only person that can change your life.